Today we will draw this 3D miniature ship. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial for a complete beginner on digital art. Just follow this tutorial with me, and in this illustration I use default brushes only. First create a blank canvas, I'll use 1625 60 resolution, you can choose any preset you like here, and all other settings are untouched. To use the exact same color, paste the highlight color code here. First, we will draw the sketch of the ship, to get perfect box, just hold your stroke after drawing the box, then tap on the stroke to further adjust the shape. Now, use the selection tool to change its perspective. Tilt the box and change this basic to distort. Now give it perspective. Use the line tool to draw straight lines in different direction. Draw three lines from these three corners. This will be the back of the ship, change the direction using these dots. Draw all lines parallel to this box except the front part. Change the direction again for the sides. Remember to use this box to draw the body of the ship. Complete this box to make sure the both sides of the ship is equal. Now the back of the ship is complete, disable the line tool, we'll draw the front manually. Now, these two lines won't be drawn parallel to the box. Join this last line also. Now our sketch is complete. Create a layer below the sketch layer, now use the path tool to color the ship, or you can color it manually also. Tap on the circle to make it square, to get hard edge. Now, tap here to complete the circle. Create another layer below it, for the sides of the ship. Disable the tool to fill the color. We will use same color for both sides of the ship, because both sides are at same angle to the light source, considering the light source at upper left corner. Use little darker color for the front area. Create another layer above, and fill color in the bottom part also, try to keep them inside the line. Now we will sharpen the outer edge of the ship. Now, enable the alpha lock for the bottom part of the ship and add some shadows around the back. Now create a layer below the sketch layer for the cabin. Draw the outline and then fill it completely. Draw a line outside the right and bottom lines to give thickness to the roof.
Now, use the eraser to sharpen the round edges. Enable the alpha lock on the roof layer and change the color of the roof outside the lines. Use a darker color in bottom and even darker color in the right. Draw a straight line in this corner. Create another layer below the roof and before we move, select the roof layer and use the selection tool to increase its size. Now, in the new layer, draw the walls of the cabin, don't cross this edge line of the boat. Fill the color. Now, select the below layer using this option, erase everything inside the highlight area. Tap on the red dot to disable the selection. Enable the alpha lock on the wall layer and add shade to the right wall. Create a layer above, just draw a box, and hold your stroke until it becomes a perfect square, and while holding your stroke move your finger or stylus to rotate. Use the distort tool to change the perspective. This app is not letting me move it, it's a bug, just restart the tool. Change it to distort and increase the length, keep the top and lower edge parallel to the roof. Now fill the color. Split the window in the center, using the eraser. Now, change this layer type to erase, and then merge this layer to the wall layer. Duplicate the wall layer, and make sure that alpha lock is enabled, and then change its color. Use the selection tool, and move it to the right, and erase the extra area. Merge all cabin related layer or you can group them. Lower the opacity and move the cabin in the middle. Restore the opacity and select the layer below, then erase the cabin wall in the highlight area. Create a layer below the cabin layer and draw the inner wall of the cabin. Merge or group it to the cabin also. Group or merge the layers related to boat also. Enable the alpha lock in the cabin layer, and add shadow. And merge or group this cabin to boat also. Now, use the basic transformation to resize and move the complete boat. If it's not basic, then change it. We will keep it on upper left side. Now, we don't need this sketch layer, clear and unhide it, then drag it below the ship. Draw the sketch of the waves. This is the first layer. Now draw the second layer. Add some holes of different shape and size. Draw the other side of second layer. Add holes on it also. Draw the third layer. Add more holes.
this is the last layer. And the second last. Now, create a layer below the sketch layer and fill the color. Duplicate this layer and hide the bottom layer. Now, erase the line first. And everything in the middle. Now the first layer is complete, duplicate the bottom layer again, then hide the first layer. Now erase from this layer also. Similarly create all the layers. Now create the third layer. I'm adding some extra holes in it, because it's below the upper layers I didn't draw them in sketch layers to avoid too much mess. This is the fourth layer. And the last layer, which is the smallest layer. Now to create shadows, unhide all other layers, and duplicate them. Enable the alpha lock in the bottom duplicate layer, and paint it black. Let me quickly apply these steps to all other layers. Now, disable the alpha lock and apply the blur filter in all of the bottom duplicate layer. Drag the bar all the way to the right. Fast forwarding again. As you can see, it may not properly blur the layer, just move it back and forth a little, it will work. Now, use the selection tool on a shadow layer, and then select all other shadow layers. Slowly drag them down a little, this step was to give perspective to these wave, because it was looking like top-down angle. Now, enable the alpha lock of top layer, and change its color. Add shadow to the ship also using the same method. I'll use 65% on this one. Position it using the selection tool.
Erase it partially using the soft airbrush. Draw a darker contact shadow close to the ship. You can group them but I'm merging all the layers to avoid the lag in recording. Now, enable the wand tool, keep this option on single layer, and select the top layer. Use the gradient tool, select and apply the highlight color. Now, we will add some thickness to these waves, create a layer above the wave layer, and change its type to multiply. Now, you can use the path tool or draw it manually by hand. Keep the shadows in left side thinner than right side, simply to give it perspective. Tap here to finish it. Now, disable the selection from here, and apply thickness to all the blue waves also. Now for the holes, only add shadows to the right side only. Sharpen this corners. There is easier way to do this also, it's not applicable now, because I decided to thicken these layers after I merged the wave layers, this is why it's always better to group layers instead of merging, but I normally merge them to avoid the lag while recording. That's it, it's done, thanks for watching, if it helped, then like the video, and subscribe for more videos like this, you can also follow me on Instagram, links in the description.